Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 6 on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad without a developer account. Now, this will work with the newest Beta 4 that was released a few days ago, or yesterday. And how it works is you're going to need your device. For this video, I'll be using my iPod Touch 4th generation. You can use any device that runs iOS 6. So, what you're going to need to do is download the current firmware. We'll have links in the description for all of this. Download the iOS 6 uh, firmware that you want to load download the newest iTunes and then you should be set. So you can see I have iTunes right here and the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to need to restore your device. This will mean you'll lose all the data on your device so make sure to back up if you'd like to use uh, this for later and note that that is going to happen. So what you're going to do is before hitting restore hold alt if you're on a Mac on the keyboard or shift if you're on a PC. So just hold the respective button down when clicking and you should get this pop up right here. Uh, the first step is to find your 5.1.1 for the respective device. I have that downloaded right here so just hit open and then hit restore. So this is going to uh, restore my iPod to version 5.1.1, the current uh, software version. So we're just going to wait for that to happen and I'll be back. Alright, now that that's done, all you have to do is hit set up as new iPod. Hit continue. I'll just name it A and then take off all the syncing. So once you have that done, turn on your iPod and you're going to go through the steps. Just hit um, whatever to get uh, to the end. Just connect to my Wi-Fi. Enter the password one second. And there we go. Blah. Hit next. You can skip this step. Skip. And then agree. Agree. Don't send. And then hit start using his new iPod Touch. So you can see right here we're on 5.1.1. And now we're going to go on to the new step. So what you're going to need to do on your computer is hold alt or shift alt if you're on a mac shift if you're on a pc again and then hit check for update so just do that and then this thing should pop up right here what you're going to do is get the ios 6 beta firmware and then you're going to hit open once you do that you just hit update and wait for your device to update so now that the restore is done uh, your device will look like this. All you have to do is slide, hit continue, and then hit skip this step, and then just hit skip, and then just hit start using uh, your device, and it should work. So, so now you'll notice that you're on iOS 6, so you have applications like Passbook, so you can just open that to show you. Um, I don't really have uh, anything in Passbook to show you. You see that you have the updated maps right here. And yeah, so it's running iOS 6. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.